Howdy y'all, my name is Brunt Hefferton, Mist Runner, Tor War of the Mist Runner Tribe, and today I wanted to talk to y'all about Deep Prot Spec for Raiden. The protection tree is the tank tree for the warrior, and I'm going to take you through and talk about what talents I'm going to pick for my tank raiding build. Now I'm the main tank of my guild, so some of these decisions are going to be bearing in mind holding threat on the biggest thing, and not really DPSing during any fight at all if there's a tank involved. So here we go. From the prot tree tactical mastery this used to be in the arms tree now it's in the prot tree and these talents boy howdy they're amazing one of the cool things you can do with tactical mastery is you can charge into a pull which generates some rage for you 15 rage from that and then you can swap into defensive stance keeping all that rage and then you benefit from defiance talents whenever you get a shield slam or whatever your ability is so tactical mastery you can snap to a stance, you can intercept, you can do whatever. Being able to snap shield slam is really nice. Or just charge into the pull. Defensive stance thunderclap is another thing. You can thunderclap demo shout. And by just being in defensive stance, your abilities do more threat due to this talent defiance. So let's keep going here. Let's get some defense. Blood rage. Eh, it's just a flat amount of rage you gain. Uh, this is going to help keep you alive. Let's also get shield spec all the way. Increasing chance to block by 5%. And you generate rage when you block. Improve shield block. This used to be two talent points, but you would only take one. They just fixed that. They noticed what people are doing. So now it's just one. Last stand. This is one of your defensive cooldowns. You should use this one pretty liberally. It's only eight minute cooldown. Gives you a bunch more health. And then you got defiance. Absolutely need this one. 15%. Threat generated while in D stance, and you get six expertise, which is great for threat. And then now we're moving on through. There's toughness here, and there's improved Sunder Armor. I like getting this because Devastate you use a lot, and it's just three less rage. That's going to mean a lot more threat gen for yourself for your rage income. And now let's move down here, but we need a couple points in. Let's get some toughness. Armor value from items, really good. Concussion Blow, need to get that. Shield Bash, meh. Doesn't really work on bosses and stuff. Not amazing, but it could work on trash. Improved shield wall. Nah, you only get to benefit from this once every 30 minutes. Improved taunt is pretty good. It gives you a lot of control in fights. Improved disarm. It's going to reduce incoming damage against mobs. You can disarm, but since you can't disarm everything, eh, it's not the best. So let's just find a way to get down here to one-handed spec and shield mastery. I'll get another point. Two points. And three points of toughness. And we still need a couple more. So 10% armor value from items. That's fantastic. Another talent point that we can invest in here. Is we could just get some defense. Alright now we've unlocked one handed weapon spec. 10% from your main hand weapon. When you're going sword and board is amazing. Shield slam is your biggest threat ability that you can hit. It's amazing. Shield slam every time it's up. Unless you need to use a defensive instead. And then you've got improved defensive stance, reducing all spell damage taken while in D stance. That's huge. Over the course of a fight, that means your healers don't have to heal as much because you're just taking less damage from spells. And most of the tank armor here, if you just look at it, I don't have anything that's giving me resistances, but a lot of bosses are casting spells in addition to physical attacks. So this takes the edge off that. Another one here, you got focused rage. Reduces rage cost of offensive abilities by one. This is just absurdly good. You can do stuff like revenge for two rage. And revenge is about as much threat as a devastate if not more. And then you've got shield mastery. Increases the amount of damage you absorb with your shield. This is another way to just consistently mitigate more damage. Vitality we take all this for 5% stam and 10% strength. Devastate. That replaces your sunder armor. Amazing ability. It deals more damage for every stack of Devastate on it, so you're really going to be popping off the most against a target with five Sunders on it. Now, let's just leave this prot tree as it is, and we'll come back to this in a little bit. We got 18 talent points left. Now, we got the Fury tree. Oh, come on, man. 5% crit. It's just amazing. We'll take that for some more threat. And then we got an easy five points in parry here. Parry is a great avoidance stat. Unlike dodge, you get a threat benefit with a little bit of parry haste. And then I like getting improved heroic strike as well. As you can see with the focus rage, it is 12 rage to use heroic strike. 
But if we talent point into this all the way, it is down to a nine rage heroic strike. So we can just be slamming these out. Now there's a decision making point here. You could, instead of taking improved heroic, you could take improved thunderclap. I'm using thunder fury still. Improved thunderclap, the debuff is stronger than it is from thunder fury. The attack speed debuff that is. So if someone has improved thunderclap in the raid, they will replace the attack speed debuff of thunder fury by applying this ability. Now there's a note for tanks who do have Thunder Fury. Whenever Thunder Fury procs, the attack speed debuff is only on the primary target, so even though it chains to 5. That means that you still have value in using Thunderclap even if you wield a Thunder Fury. So keep that in mind. That means it's really good still to, say in Heroics, be able to charge into a pull, defensive stance as you're running up to it, and then get a Thunderclap and a Demo Shout. That way you're reducing the attack power of all the mobs in that pack by a bunch, and you're reducing the attack speed to all of them, not just the first one that Thunder Fury procs on. Now, we got five points left. Let's make some decisions here. We can get some points in defense. I would like to get this here. Bosses like Gruul just hit really hard with physical damage, and this is going to take the edge off of that. And now we got two points left. You could play it safe here just to have more survivability but for the utility i'm going to take it in improved taunt that means that i can taunt every eight seconds instead of every 10 seconds and if you've ever seen a mob running toward your healer you know how dire that situation is and two seconds saving your healer's life and saving a wipe is incredible a lot of trash mobs can be taunted and even some bosses can be taunted so taunt it's an amazing ability as a torn you even get more range for it which is nice but yeah, improved taunt, great investment in talent. So what do we have here at the end? 48 points in prot, tactical mastery, a bit of defense, toughness all the way, shield spec, shield block, last stand, defiance, improved taunt, improved devastate. We've got concussion blow to stun for five seconds. We've got one-handed weapon spec, shield mastery, imp defensive stance for less spell damage, shield slam, of course, focus rage for less rage cost for abilities, strength and stamina, devastate, five points in crit, five points in parry, and heroic strike. And that is a tanking spec. Hope y'all found this useful. Best of luck in tanking. Don't forget to repair before you leave town. An ancestor's watch over you.